everybody, and welcome to Dwarf Fortress. This is the Hell Zone, and I am Dan. Hello. Who's ready to toss some dwarves? I've heard that no one should do that, but we're going to. I think if you've not heard of Dwarf Fortress, um, well, it comes to me to explain it to, I suppose. Every stream, every introduction of Dwarf Fortress begins with a history lesson because um, if you look in the corner, that corner over over there, um, this, this began in 2002. I think there are a non-insignificant number of you who may have been born after or Fortress um, came out. Anybody in the chat who um, was born after 2002, uh, this game is older than you. Um, so, yes, so this was available as freeware and in development since 2002. Um, and it actually was free. Um, but now has had a graphical update because this is what it looked like when it came out. Um, it was an ASCII kind of game. So, you know, like you'd go around and like there was a, like a tree, like this is a tree, probably. There's a dwarf. That's, you know, look at that. That's custom ASCII. That's not a, that's not stock. Um, this is the letter O and that meant something probably. Uh, maybe this is like a, ho a horse. Um, and they added graphics and audio, which is what you're hearing in the background now. I think it has some nice sounds to it. Um, you know, I think, I think that this game has had quite a history to it. And, um, I've never played it. I've heard a lot about it and I've seen it a lot. But it's always been very, very intimidating to me because it's a survival game that uh, really has a lot of depth to it. Um, and it should because it's been in development for like 25 years. Okay, not 25, 21 years, but still. Um, so with that in mind, I think uh, let's, let's go through and just... Um, See what happens. Uh, welcome to Dwarf Fortress. Prepare to guide your stout charges to fortune in a world fraught with many perils. You'll begin by creating your world and watching the region's history unfold. Once this process is complete, you can prepare a group and send them out to seek wealth deep in the mountains. As you dig deeper and more citizens take up residence in your outpost, your doings will attract attention, both wanted and unwanted. Deal with challenges as they arise, and you might one day find that your humble settlement has grown to become a mountain home, the center of your civilization. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, simplified version. You could go into detailed mode here. I don't recommend it. Oh, shit. This is too much. It's too many options. Minimum number of mid volcanism squares. How many should there be? How many? How many do you think? How many uh, mid volcanism squares should there be? It's too much. Um, I'm frankly gonna go with all the defaults because it's all very scary to me. You know, just basic, please. Um, okay, so now we're going to create a world. We're creating a world. And the way it does this is it's actually having years pass. Um, we're going through worlds, as you can see. And uh, apparently two, two have already been rejected because they were not suitable. Um, all right. So, yes, yeah, so we're going through the years, as you can see. Um, and 
45,000 events have occurred in this 100 years. Um, oh God. There's a lot of things happening. Um, I wonder if, can we scroll back? I want to see, I want to see more of that. Okay, in mid-autumn of 94, an offering to the path of the moon was created and sobretangled by the human Zulur, rumor priced. Um, and then the dwarf Datenpo spear constructed sneak ceilings for the creed of Rhodes and the fellowship of snuggling. Oh, we've got to go find the fellowship of snuggling. And the dab, the, you know, this is the dabbling confederacies, but I want to say the dabbing confederacies founded um, boar machines. Uh, and the bronze colossus Thosid Wilf Razor the Stern routed the simple lie of the fiend of frogs and destroyed Wraith Routed. And then in mid-autumn of 99, the treatise on animal diseases was created in Rain Hatchet by the elf uh, Karaka Cherish Cloister. Um, yeah, so things have been going on. Uh, what does any of that mean? I don't know, but there's 12,000 historical figures in the legendary planet, Lice Van Yu. Let's try. Let's just go wherever. I don't know. Sounds good to me. You see, the thing is, I have no idea what we're doing, so... Um... Okay, I think, I think we want a fortress, a dwarf fortress. Let's go for a dwarf fortress. We're passing a few weeks to get things ready. You know, just pass a couple weeks, it's okay. Granite of 100. Um, would I like to start a short tutorial? God, yes. start your fortress in a forested mineral rich region of the world i think that sounds great we're gonna go right there right in the middle that sounds good so this is what the world looks like here as you can see it's a lot nicer than ascii art because you can see like oh like there's a bush there's a leak that's a tree um, you have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wildness, be wilderness beyond. Your harsh trek is finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all. A Keshmanub, Keshmanub, Kesh, Kesha, Keshmanub. Uh, there are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you. But it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the wolves get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Lek Dadaloth, lurid bolt. Strike the earth. Okay, I'll strike the earth, sure. Um... Your view is focused one on one elevation at a time to move the camera around. Press WASD. To change the elevation, press E or C. See, so you can go up, and there's the trees, right? So you can see, like, okay, on this level, there's the top of the trees, the middle of the trees, the base of the tree, and now we're at the ground. And then you can go underneath as well, and you can see, like, the you know, underneath is where the water is. Um, okay. And you can only interact with things on your current elevation. So that's that's how they deal with a lot of the complexity here. Um, you can zoom in and out with the control plus mouse wheel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's how you want to play. No, we'll, we'll zoom in for now. Maybe... Like here, this seems good. All right, it's time to get to work. Let's start by taking 
Sounds good to me. Begin. All right, yeah. So here he is. He's digging. He's uh, he's working on it. Oh, thank you, Michello. Hydration check. So I think um, the natural background sounds that they've added here are pretty nice. Oh, and look, there's a cat. Um, and it's just very chill. It's nice. It's a nice vibe. Supplies in the wagon are in a danger of being carried off by wild creatures. Oh, that's not good. Let's build a stockpile underground and unload them. Stockpiles are crucial to moving supplies around your fortress where they are needed. Stockpiles are placed with the stockpile button. Click it now. So, yeah. So, let's see. Let's see what we've got. Um. I just want to check out certain people. How do we look at? Um, I want to. I want to just click on this man. I want to see who this is. So like an inspect button, probably. Um, you know, they'll probably tell me at some point. I just want to find out all their names. I think for now, we can make a little stockpile. Um, all right. Let's make a stockpile. How about that? Except. And it's going to be a stockpile for everything. Shit there. With shelter ready underground, it's time to build. First, you need building materials like wood or boulders. Um, before you start chopping down trees, you may want to create a dedicated wood stockpile. Okay, that seems good. Make a good little wood stockpile. It's so annoying, he left a little spot right there. He's doing this just to bother me, isn't he? Um, okay. Open tree felling mode. And designated tree. So we want to chop down some trees. Here, let's get this one. Right, so someone's going to chop that. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Let's Chopping Dave. Chopping, chopping Dave. Alright, and then they're gonna stockpile the wood. Oh, this might not be big enough actually. Um. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Um, looks like. 
wood zone is here. All right. The wood zone. The wood zone is here. Let's, let's fell some more trees. How about all the trees here? Just chop all those trees down. Stockpiling affirmations. Sounds great. That's a good idea. Relax. Relax. We are going to stockpile. Stockpile everything. We are going to have so much, so much stuff. In fact, in fact, let's make sure that we are not stockpiling wood right here. And then we'll be, look at that. See, now they'll take the wood out of here and put it in there. Get all your wood right here. And you're going to have all the wood you need. You're going to be able to survive the winter. Everything that you need will be here. We can build things with a workshop. That's right. You can, here we have all this stuff stockpiled, so we can go ahead and we can just make some workshops. And it's going to be all right. We're going to build, build, build a workshop. We're going to build it. And it's going to be okay. Oh gosh. There's a lot of details here. Um, okay, so we want to carpet workshop. Okay. See, that's that's just um it's part of the magic is you can just make the stuff you need boom right there. Um let's get some persimmons, 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 persimmons. So now someone's going to build that workshop. Look, there he is. He's doing it. Oh, he did it. That's great. Um, okay. Then, look at this. Now we can add some tasks. Tasks, 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 tasks. I'm going to make a bed. Here, let's make a bed. Um, can we make more than one? Let's make a couple bits. Oops. Not that. Oh, hold on. Five, six, seven. There's seven of us, so seven bits. Unless. Unless. No, seven bits. Seven bits. Is that not a citizen? Maybe maybe that horse is not a citizen. Maybe that's the problem. There's Tosid Epilatum, the expedition leader. I wanna I wanna be able to click on it. Stray cat tame. A tame cat, a tame cat, a tame cat, a tame cat. Are you making the bed? Oh it's paused, that's why. Okay. Alright, now that you have a bed, you can place it in the fortress. Use the build menu to place it in a room underground. Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay. I'm going to actually... Here. Why don't we do it this way? Um, let's make a place where people would sleep. A sleeping place. Some people might call it a bedroom. 
citizen or creature. Alright, let's do that. Let's click it. Let's click a citizen. Let's see. So we've got uh, Minkant Athelrag, a woodworker. Uh, also known as Minkant Ring Clapped. Just clapping those rings. Um, they're 56 years old. A woman. And uh, their lover is Ficod, Secret of Crafts. Secretive crafts. They're healthy. Um, I talked to my friend. I feel fond. She feels fondness after talking with a friend, as we heard. She feels tenderness after talking with a lover. Um, she felt euphoric due to inebriation. Oh, I mean, listen, she's having a great day. She was annoyed after having a drink without using a goblet cup or mug. Okay, yeah, I guess that would be annoying, wouldn't it? 
Um, she felt love remembering a new romance. Oh, this is a new romance, okay. She felt satisfied after getting into an argument. Damn, you know, she's a messy bitch who loves drama, but that's why we love Minkant Ethelrag. Um, she felt satisfied at work. She felt annoyed after sleeping in the grass. Okay, again, yeah, I understand that. Um, annoyed at the lack of chairs. Satisfied after getting in an argument again. She loves argumenting. Um, satisfied after felling a tree. Euphoric due to inebriation. Just, just getting drunk. Getting into arguments and feeling her tender love. Unmet need, eat good meal. Unmet need, admire art. Unmet need, pray. Arthur Bukrum's Prince. And what else do we got? Tosid. Uh, Epilotum. So, one fun thing you can do is you could customize their name if you want, and you can make it like Dan, Dan Epilotum or whatever. Um, a deal, somber crystal, is his lover. Um, oh, sorry, her lover. Yeah, felt fondness after talking with a friend. Um, fondness after remembering talking with a friend. You know, I always do that. I'm, I'm like, I'm talking with a friend, and I feel fond. And then, like five minutes later, I'll be like, yeah, that's a good memory. Um, Alright, these people are annoyed after having to sleep in the grass. Hopefully they won't have to now because we have beds. Um, Imush Fury Bridged. Uh, Imush Thwest Sazir. Fikad Nekutrikad. Tulan Capsulan. no official position. I think that's, um, that seems wrong. Right click. Okay, there we go. Uh, important alerts and sometimes urgent information appears over here. Dismiss the large red alert. I see it up there. these at your peril. I ignored it. An animal has grown to become a stray buck rabbit. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Okay. The weather has cleared. Okay, great. Um, okay, great. You may need supplies before the coming of winter to trade with the autumn caravan. You must build a trade depot from the build menu. You may need something of value.
we've got As you enter new menus, there will be information and tips. The help button contains more guides. Click it now. As this tutorial will be concluded. The game is open-ended, and you can do whatever you choose. If you'd like a call, try to become a barony, then a mountain home. More likely, um, your dwarves will starve. Unless you read the first few guides here. And remember, losing is fun. Okay, well, I'm glad they are. alive in the unforgiving wilderness, they will need shelter, drink, and food. Use the arrow at the top of this window to minimize the tutor tutorial, which obstru obscures your view. Uh, by now you should have a room underground where your residents can hide from the creatures above. To make sure they spend their free time down there, you will need to use the zones menu to make a meeting area. We did it. Later, you may try the burrows menu to create a safe place for your civilians to hide when real trouble comes. Uh, I'm scared to know what that is. Some essential tasks must be assigned from the labor menu. Uh, click here and make sure you have a miner, woodcutter, and fisher dwarf. Okay, labor menu, labor, labor menu. We have a deal, a zeusus, a miner. We have Dulan, Capsulon, a fisher dwarf. A stone crafter, a woodworker, a planter, a mason, an expedition leader. Well, that seems like we've got lots of things. Okay. Yes. Alright, we did all those things. Great. There are two ways to make drinks for your residents. The main way is by brewing alcohol. It's done by building a still from the build menu using workshops farming a still. Let's, let's do that. Let's make barrel. Make a wooden barrel. And, um, yeah, just do that a bunch of times. Um, and then... Let's see. We also want to um, make a zone. It's going to be like our, um, no, not here, actually, not there. Um, we're going to make, um, all right, let's see. Yeah, a dining hall. A dining hall. We're going to make a dining hall. It's going to be here like this. should be right next to like the dorms so we're gonna make a dining hall uh, like right here 
drinks are food. Drinks are also food. Okay. Albatross man meat. Albatross man sweet bread. Mmm, delicious man meat. Okay. So this is a food stockpile. Um, yeah, we're gonna call this... Something to be like putting just barrels here. Corpses, where should we put the corpses? Uh, that's gonna be a little bit more complicated when we get to that part. Um, cages, empty cages. Okay, I don't know. You know what? Um, oh, 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 yeah. We're gonna say. I push a button and went to elevation 42 instead and got very confused. Um, ooh, this stocks. How are stocks doing? What I wanted to do was look up here and want to go say, hey, make a chair. Make a wooden chair. Uh, make a
ammo and a you know what, how about just every, whatever, or, you know what, can I, um, let's do this, get rid of it, this little bit of me just, yeah, just make it bigger, just this normal one, make it bigger, normal. So now we're making um, empty food storage items. Okay, you don't make cups. I don't know where cups are from. So can I have um we go to wood or finish finish good maybe. You know, I don't know. In either case, um can place let's place um So we did all that stuff. So we're good at making cups. Um, can brew drink from plant. Do that a bunch. Um, and then, let's see. Chair. Where would a chair be? So that's our tavern here. We don't have any walls. Um, okay, so I think we did all this right. We don't 
don't want that. We don't want any sunlight. Wall. Um, let's see. Let's try digging there. That seems like a nice place. sitting down. That guy's sitting down right there. Hold on. I want to see how happy he is. I feel so good. It's, she is blissful dining in a very good dining room. Boom. Yes, yes, yes. We did it. Toulon. Lightning lashed and their lover, Imush Fusetazir. Fusetazir. Um, they're having a great time. Um, dejected after being unable to pray to Mondul for too long. Yeah, you know, that's fine. That's gonna happen. But, being annoyed by getting accosted by snails. Okay. Um. There's a hamster in here. There's a hamster. A little hamster. A little hamster in there. Okay, we've got a couple of extra wood barrels. And some cups. Um, we're going to call it on the cups for now. I think we've got enough cups. That's quite a few cups that we've got. No more cups, please. Um, let's see. What else could we do? We have a, a lot of wood, so maybe like a wooden craft. Yeah, to make some wooden crafts. And you're bluing, bluing the drinks, bluing drinks. Um, and then you are making barrels. We could use a couple more barrels, I think. Um, why don't we go to the um, tree chopping and chop some more trees? Just chop them up. Um, and then plant gathering. Let's gather some plants in the area. Gather those plants. Okay. So that should that should be good. Um, I feel like you could probably eat plants. Plants are good for eating. Walnut wood cup. Cherry wood cup. Um,
is this? What is this? Adil Azusas, uh, or also known as Adil Somber Crystal. Um, a lover of tossed, revered cloisters. Um, feel satisfied improving their mining, feeling love, remembering a new romance. Didn't feel anything dining in a very good dining room. You know, sometimes you just, you just don't feel it. Um, was annoyed after having a drink without using a goblet cup or mug. Well, that's your fault, I think. We have one person who's like not satisfied. We've got two people who are like jazzed as hell, but who is, who is upset? Are we able to find them? Hold on, this guy's got no job. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He got no job. You believe this? Um, we want a zone of food, the food zone. Let's see, how do I make this the food zone? Is that not, maybe, maybe a food zone is not accurate. Um, okay. Farm plot. Alright, they said that you want, um, loam clay or sand. you have to make a farm underground, which doesn't necessarily make sense to me, but I guess it's just the way it is. See, I, I always thought that you'd want the sun to be there, but you don't want the sun to be involved. The sun does not need to be here. Okay, what are we currently making? Woodcrafts. It's already summer. I didn't even realize. Oh gosh. We've, we've wasted away the entire abandoned fortress to ruin. Alright, nobody's, nobody's here digging. Any reason for that? Maybe a deal is sleeping, that's why. A deal's taking a nap. That's okay. Listen, I get it. Nobles and administrators. 
some administrators will require offices to perform their work. You must create these with zones office. Um, the zone you select must contain a chair, or you can paint the zone and, and place a chair later. Remember to assign the administrator into the office. Okay. So I think we want a So the manager handles work orders. Once your fortress reaches a certain population, the manager must work in an office to validate work orders. Okay. All right, Tosid, you're the expedition leader, and you're also a manager. He says, I have no study. I need a meager study. Chief Medical Dwarf allows you to see the overall health of dwarves in your fortress. No relevant skills. Okay. Um, the broker uses their appraisal skills to align you to the value of items in the fortress. Okay. Um, novice judge of, of in. This liar. Okay. Um, the bookkeeper keeps an accurate count of items in the fortress. Okay, proficient record keeper. Great. Um, members of the nobility oh, have required rooms and can make demands that cannot be reassigned. Administrators handle various aspects of your fortress and can be are okay for now. We don't have anyone who's can can be a medical dwarf, but I think it's okay. Um, it looks like we need an office for two of these people, though. So we'll see if, if we can do that. Um, let's see. Let's see how might we make offices for these people. These could be like three offices. Once this guy stops sleeping, wake up. Okay. Brickleberry wine. Brickle, brickleberries, brickleberries, brickle, pickle, pickle, pickleberries, pickle, pickles. Okay, he's working on it. That's good. It's still all peace. something else we need to look at. Other food sources. Fishing. If there's a river or pond nearby, you may consider fishing. If the water isn't frozen, a worker with a fishing labor assigned will begin fishing automatically. You can optionally choose to designate a fishing zone if you don't want your workers going far afield. Remember, your workers do not eat raw fish. You must build a fishery to prepare them. Workshops of farming and fishery. Okay. Thank you for the reminder of something that I would have no way of knowing. Workshop. Farming, uh, fishery, let's fish in the fishery.
let's see, what am I making? Um, woodcrafts, just general woodcrafts, okay, I mean that seems good. Uh, you're making wooden barrels, it looks like we got a, we got plenty there, so why don't we go, um, make chair, make a wooden chair. Mastery, masterpiece wood barrel. Oh, it's just a great wood barrel. Um, okay, hold on. We need to check out our uh, this one. So, what do you need? How do you make a meager study? smoothing, engraving, track carving, fortification. Uh, okay, Toulon Kempelson is the one who's not so happy. Why is that? Right, embarrassed after sleeping without a proper room. Why? Why are you... Okay, you're fishing, that's the thing. Well, I mean... Do you need to fish there? I feel like... Um, let's see... anywhere around or along this river would probably be good. Um, I don't know if you can cross the river or not. But you don't need to go so far away. Did it work? I don't know if it worked. Maybe that'll make them a little bit happier. Um, this person... 